to play Flowers by The Neighborhood. We are in standard tuning. There's no capo. We have a C chord and a minor chord, an E minor chord, and an F open chord. If you know how to play those chords, feel free to skip ahead. I will be teaching those here. So for an A minor chord, your index finger goes on the first fret of the B string. That's your second string up, one, two strings up. Middle finger goes on the second fret of the D string. That's one, two, three strings down. And your ring finger gets tucked under on the second fret of the G. You play all five strings except for this low E on that chord. What's nice about this A minor is to get to your C chord, you simply move your ring finger up to the third fret of the A string, which is your second string down. And again, we are just playing these five strings, we're not playing this low E. So there's your C chord. For an E minor chord, your middle finger goes on the second fret of the A string, ring finger goes on the second fret of the D. And you can play all six strings on that chord. For an F open chord, you're back to your index being on the first fret of the B. Middle finger now is one string up on the G string, and it's on the second fret. Ring finger is up on the third fret of the A string. Pinky's tucked under on the third fret of the D. And you don't want to play this low E, and you don't want to play this. You don't want to play either of the E strings, so the low E or the high E. So just these strings in the middle here, and those are your chords. So now let's talk about the progression. We are mainly doing this throughout the entire song. So it's just C to A minor, really. Occasionally we switch to E minor. But then it's right back to C to A minor. Okay, so the strumming is going down, 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 switch, down, 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 down. And on E minor, it lasts twice as long for the full bar. progressions pretty straightforward and simple um, that is pretty much what's played throughout the entire song but there is this bridge that sounds like this so it's going F C E minor okay so nice and slow right back into our C chord, A minor, C to A minor, and that's all there is to it. So that's the chord progressions. There is this lick that sounds like this, and you can play that in several different positions on the fretboard. I like to play it over here though. So we're going G, index on the 2nd fret of the D for an E note, open, G, then you're going to move your middle finger onto this 
second fret of the G. Index stays there. Same progression going on. Okay, so open. That's all there is to it. So that's all I wanted to teach you in this tutorial. I went through everything very quick, so if you have questions, please feel free to comment below. If you enjoy this content, do me a big favor, subscribe to my channel, check out my songwriting playlist, and subscribe to my Instagram as well at Jeremiah James Music. Thank you for watching.